Hi, I'm Larry Belgrove, here at Gold Hill St. John, and this is my mural project. Where the mural is concerned, I wanted an idea that would move from what Barbies used to be like to what it is like today. So I conceptualized the map of Barbados, and in the map, it shows varying aspects of our culture, what Barbados used to be like, you have lots of persons working and so on, and permanent fixtures like the slave hut, um, Harrison Skid in St. Thomas. Here to my left in the background, you have Codroner College. Now this is um, a permanent fixture here in St. John, and I think everybody knows the, the Codroner College. Here in the foreground, you have um, transition of buses, and this depicts progress. You have a very old bus moving across to an electric bus. I had um, three helpers. There were Everett Linton, Faith, and Gail Green. I wanted to think about um, where we were and where we're actually going. We've always been told that Barbados is punching above its weight, right? And for the person who sees this mural, I want them to think about building Barbados. Right? We, 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 we are on that trajectory. We want to have a Barbados where our children can be happy in this country. And we are racing towards first world status. So viewing these, this mural and others, I want that concept to be born on each person. Let us all build Barbados and have a very safe society. Hi, my name is Don Small. I'm here at the A.D. Castle Edwards Primary School in Bell Plain, St. Andrew. I'm here with the Cityscape Mural, Path from our Path to our Future, and this is my mural. It was conceptualized um, through the NCF last year in conjunction with our nation becoming a republic. And I, I kind of try to give a brief history from where we came from to present and our future. Um, the painting basically depicts our lives or our four parents' lives as, if you want to say, even slaves, plantation workers. And they are looking through um, this portal, which is an old, it could be part of an old mill wall, an old coral stone wall into a future. And that future is kind of chronicled by the houses that are depicted in it, where we moved from, if you want to say that slave hut, that small house, into um, a shingle wooden house, into the hit roof, to a bungalow, and then to our upscaled two-story houses, if you want to call it that. The transportation, we moved from walking to the donkey cart, to the Rockland buses that used to run into St. Andrew because that's something that's important to me to try to maintain that history part of St. Andrew. Um, the central bank that is depicting it signifies um, serious progress during the 80s under um, the Tom Madam's administration. It also depicts our first female prime minister, our first female president. And that also is to encourage all, um, especially young, young females, that they can aspire to those heights if they so desire. Um, I wouldn't say that it is political, but it serves as some aspiration. And I believe that the present Prime Minister and the president, president inspire a lot of young females in Barbados to aspire to, the, to these heights. And I think that's one of the great thing about becoming a republic that any person for any walk of life, if they so desire, can aspire to those things. And I hope that that message, that particular message um, was sent. It also depicts the removal or the taking down of Lord Nelson, um, which was I think a significant moment in our history. A lot of people believe that there would have been a lot of fallout from tourism, but 
that seemed to have been forgotten at this point in time. But um, I think the, the, the mural set out to give that particular message and I, I believe it has.